watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. Y'all watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, habla Cindy. Está viendo Deportes TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So undefeated, WBC, middleweight, superstar boxer, Big Charlo, Jamal Charlo, calls out, Matrim CEO and promoter, Eddie Hearn, and undefeated, WBO, middleweight, superstar boxer, Demetrius Boo Boo Andre, tells him, make it happen. Don't call me, don't contact me, Contact Al. I'm not the promoter. I'm the one. I'm not the one that handles the business behind the scenes. Stop contacting me and call them if you truly want to make it. Is what Big Charlo, Jamal Charlo, had to say. He said, "I ain't running. I ain't afraid to fight Demetrius Andre in unification bout. Let's make it happen. But you know the right people to call. You know the right people to contact if you truly want to make it happen." So he responded to. Eddie Hearn, Matthew CEO and promoter, promoter Demetrius Andre, stating that he contacted Jamal Charlo. He made an offer to him uh, via social media. Eddie Hearn uh, explained that. And that's exactly what he did. And Jamal Charlo is saying, that's all said and well, that's all said and good. That's, that's dandy. But you need to call Al. Contact Al. He handles the business. And let's make it happen. Don't pretend that I'm avoiding you. And uh, I agree with Jamal Charlo, right? Um, I believe that, you know, he needs to go through Al. He should have caught, contacted Al Heyman. I thought it was pretty odd that he contacted Jamal straight away. And his reasoning for contacting Jamal straight away was due to the fact that he stated uh, Jamal doesn't have a promoter. And now you can take that as a slight towards Al, right? Or it's a good thing because we say these guys don't have promoters. And they, you know, um, and they, uh, uh, they take care of themselves. They get all the money, right? It's just like being an entertainer or a rapper. And you know, you have, um, you have uh, guys that have, you know, um, uh, big labels. And then you have guys that, you know, are independent. You know, Jamal, PBC fighters are pretty much independent, right? Uh, when it comes to that matter. So they get a bigger share of the pie than somebody on a big label because they have to do a lot of the footwork and promoting themselves where the big labels, like if you, for uh, example, Terrence Crawford is with Top Rank and Top Rank does the, a lot of the promotion and stuff. So that's the difference, right? So obviously they're gonna take a bigger uh, a, a, a share of your pie, a percentage of your pie, opposed to you doing it yourself and you getting all the pie, right? Floyd Mayweather made that famous, right? And so, uh, this is Eddie Hearn's reasoning for contacting uh, Jamal Charles straight away is that he's his independent, right? Jamal said, but you know, I have an advisor and a manager and that man name is Al Heyman. Contact him and let's make it happen. This is a fight, in my opinion, that needs to take place. There's history there. Uh, we know Jam uh, Jamel Charlo was, was scheduled to fight Demetrius Andre when they, when they campaigned at the junior middleweight 154 pound division. And then Demetrius Andre wasn't happy with the way the contract was worded and he pulled out of the fight. He didn't think that he was getting a fair shake. He pulled out due to uh, the contract wording, right? Not that um, uh, he, you know, didn't feel like uh, Jamal, Jamel was getting, you know, a uh, bigger share of the pie or anything like that. He just didn't like the wording in it. And Jamel at the time was the biggest star. So if he was getting a bigger percentage, uh, that should kudos and hats off to Jamel because he uh, uh, puts himself out there, right? Uh, Demetrius Andre could have signed with uh, and, you know, been advised by Al Heyman. He chose to go a different route. So with that said, you know, I think that this fight needs to come to fruition. I think it's a huge fight for both guys. Neither guy is going to win the Canelo Alvarez fight or the Gennady Golovkin fight. That's just not going to happen, right? Uh, they're not willing to step in the ring with these guys. So they're going to, unfortunately, they're going to have to play round robin with, with one another and make it come to fruition. But this is a fight that needs to get over the hump. And if Eddie Hearn is truly serious and Demetrius Andre is truly serious and Jamal Charlo just laid out the uh, map to get to him, they need to take it. Take him up on that offer. And let's see it. 
Uh, Jamal has the WBC. Demetrius have the uh, WBO. It's a unification bout. It's a huge bout. Uh, it would do huge numbers. Eddie Hearn stated that he's willing to give the same offer to Jamal to fight on uh, the zone, the uh, seven-figure, eight-figure payday or something like that. To fight on the zone, he's willing to give him the same uh, payday if the fight took place on Jamal's side with the PBC and Fox. So uh, there is, should be no real hurdles to making this fight happen. But I'm glad Jamal came out and stated this, point blank and period. They need to make it happen. But uh, that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Hey, this is Jasmine. Thank you for watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, soy Jasmine. Gracias por ver Sangre Azul Deportes TV. Gracias.